I'm Rob Dean. I'm the editor of the Santa Fe New Mexican, the daily newspaper that serves Santa Fe, New Mexico. It's an institution that's 164 years old, and we are uh, in the offices of the Santa Fe, New Mexican. I'm also the editor of a book published in 2010 called Santa Fe, It's 400th Year, Exploring the Past, Defining the Future. The book had a humble beginning. It was not at first designed as a book. It began as a series of newspaper stories to commemorate the 400th anniversary of the founding of, of Santa Fe. In 1959, the publisher and editor of the New Mexican had the presence of mind to uh, ask a Pulitzer winning novelist, um, Oliver Lafarge, to write about Santa Fe's history um, as it emerged through the pages of the Santa Fe New Mexican. And he published a, a well-known book called Santa Fe, the Autobiography of a Southwestern Town. At that time, uh, 110 years worth of news as reported in the Santa Fe New Mexican. The book that we published in 2010 uh, serves as a nice bookend to that volume, again, with, with the same spirit. The 400 years of history of Santa Fe was the bedrock of this series of stories that became this book. Um, what we identified through 400 years of history is the number of themes or, or trends or issues that have been constant currents through Santa Fe's history. It is not a seamless narrative from page one to the end. It is broken into 12 chapters. So the timeline is full of all of these small events and, and big events to put the history of Santa Fe and its episodes in context. The intersection of cultures is one of the uh, identifying features of Santa Fe. Um, its long uh, tradition of, of celebrating faith and establishing diverse faith communities is another theme. Of course, this is a political town. This is, a, this is a capital city and has been a, the seat of government since its founding uh, 402 years, 403 years ago now. Um, and so the exercise of political power and the development of public policy is another theme. The history of Santa Fe is, is distinctive. For one thing, Santa Fe became a U.S. territory in 1848 and it was a territory for a very long time. Um, the, the country and Washington were reluctant to make uh, Santa Fe a state. That eventually happened in 1912. New Mexico existed as a territory for so long is that it in so many ways doesn't seem to fit the rest of the country. And in fact, Santa Fe proudly for, for a long, long time has, de has de de described itself as the city different. Santa Fe was and New Mexico were explored by the Spanish coming from the south to the north, not from uh, Anglos coming from the east to the west. That's one difference. This is a community that's closely tied to the Catholic Church. Priests accompanied Spanish settlers on their way north, and, and establishment of the church and establishment of the community of Santa Fe are inseparable. And of course, this is, this is was a Spanish-speaking territory um, populated mostly by people of Hispanic heritage. And there were questions from the East about whether New Mexico and Santa Fe uh, fit the definition of America. The flip side of that is there was a, a constant curiosity about whether uh, Santa Fe and New Mexico felt like it belonged. And there was, there was indeed many episodes of, of resistance to federal rule in New Mexico. What is going on today, this rich and diverse body of faith communities in Santa Fe, but we constructed that on top of this foundation of faith being part of Santa Fe's history from the very start. Santa Fe has been the subject of many books by many writers, a diverse range of writers, 
And this, this book has a terrific bibliography for anyone who wants to read more of, about Santa Fe.